Today, I will show you how to upgrade your computer from Windows 10 to Windows 11 or Windows 12. Because if you have a genuine Windows 10, Microsoft will let you upgrade to the new version for free. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. Please note that the computer's processor must be compatible with the new operating system, otherwise you will not be able to perform this update. So, I have this computer here that still comes with the Windows 10, but it's compatible with Windows 11. So to upgrade, open System Settings and then click on Updates and Security. Then click on Check for Updates and wait for all available updates to appear. And these are all my updates, including the upgrade to Windows 11. You can see that in my case, a message appears saying that I can upgrade to Windows 11. In the Windows 11 message, you click Transfer and Install. Then you just have to wait for Windows 11 to be downloaded. This process can take from 5 minutes to 1 hour. That will depend on the speed of your internet connection, because the Windows 11 file is 6 GB. After downloading the update, the installation begins. You don't have to do anything. The system starts installing automatically. And again, you just have to wait until the percentage reaches 100%. When the installation is complete, a Restart Now button will appear. Before you press that button, make sure that you saved all the documents you have open. Then, press the Restart button. And the update process will start. And you just have to wait. You don't need to do anything else from now on. The blue screen percentage will reach 100%, but it's not ready yet, because the computer will restart several times. With the new percentage now on a black screen, this process may take around 15 minutes, depending on the speed of your computer's processor. And after the computer restarts three times, the new Windows 11 system is installed and the computer starts with the same accounts you had on the computer. Now, all you have to do is write your password and enter the system. And here it is. Now this computer has Windows 11, with the same programs, the same accounts and files. And it didn't cost anything. And the entire process, in my case, took about 30 minutes including the time to transfer the file, install and update, and the computer is ready to use as it was with Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped to upgrade to Windows 11. If you are watching this video in the future, you can probably even upgrade to another Windows version. But now, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week, like the video and if you have any questions, write in the comments.